All right, we're here. The most forsaken spot in all Polaris. Far as I know, no one's ever come this far into the Northern Sea. But why stop here? Ivan does not see any secret Rasputin base. Nothing but freezing water and that big ice cube over there. That's no ice cube. It's a floating fortress. Rasputin may have a bad demeanor and despicable hair, but you have to admire his brilliance. First things first. To survive in these frigid waters, you'll need to eat the Kataba ice block is not only invisible, it's impregnable too. The only way in is to infiltrate the ice block from the sea floor. First things first. To survive in these frigid waters, you'll need to eat an aqualung fish from the trough. That's right. It's a seal tradition. Wait, is it raw? Oh, couldn't we at least get some wasabi and soy sauce? Well, all right. Always nice to try something new, right? Ah, a snack before mission is perfect thing. Ivan likes this tradition. Mmm, <laughs> yes. Aqualung fish is yummy. All right, we're ready to initiate the mission. We're calling this Operation Ice Bath. We got the whole team here. Lieutenant Snow is our demolitions expert, Sergeant Sleet is our security expert, and Field Specialist Frost is our science officer. Lieutenant Snow is going down to assess the entry point into the ice block. Use a rope to go down and join him on the sea floor. Descent to the sea floor takes you deep beneath the frigid waters, but you can feel the aqualung fish providing you with an inner warmth. At the base of the ice block, you spot an access grate. That must be where Lieutenant Snow is hoping to gain entry. I've seen my share of underwater access grates before, but I've never seen anything as advanced as this. Sealed on tight. I can blast the grate, but I'm gonna need methane clathrate for the detonation. <laughs> Sorry, the less technical name is fire ice. <laughs> it's actually formed from fish f gases trapped in the ice. You should find some fire ice scattered around the sea floor. Fish gases? You mean... No, oh, that's gross. Why does everything have to be so gross? Just, uh, hold your nose. It may not be glamorous, but I need the fire ice if I'm gonna blast the grate. Fine, fine, let's just get it over with. You got the fire ice? Perfect. Let's blast this thing! Stand back! Here it goes! <sighs> what? It didn't work! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why do I always get stuck doing demolitions on things that can't be demolished? 
Maybe you make this too complicated. Maybe there is easier way. Stand aside and let Ivan try. Oh yeah! Take that, you cold, goofy great. Nothing can withstand strength of Ivan the Great. Ha ha! Oh, a one punch? Really? Oh come on. That only worked because the blast weakened it. That's what I'm putting in my report, at least. All right, status update. My work here is done. You guys are clear to proceed into the ice block. I'm uh, gonna head back up to the boat. Go on in. I'll send Sergeant Sleet to catch up and help you uh, sneak past security. Oh, look what just drifted in. Is this the wizard we were warned about? The master will be pleased when we haul in this prize. So Rasputin's expecting us. All the better. This is the excitement I never got back in the Vale. Come on, let's do this. No easy catch. Instead of hauling in the prize, I think we should be hauling tail out of here. Looks like that passage leads up and into the ice block, and eventually to Rasputin. Ready when you are. I was hoping it'd be a little warmer once we got out of the water. So much for that idea. We're basically inside an ice box. You just need more meat on your bones. You don't eat enough, Mallory. Ivan is worried about you. I think that fur coat of yours may help a little bit, too. Just a little bit. And I eat just fine, thank you very much. An impressive door. Ivan is not sure he could break it down, but it appears to be unlocked. Let's see what's on other side. Whoa! Hold up there, big guy. Let a security expert handle this. I can open this without raising the alarm. Let's see here. Alert! Alert! Intruders must decontaminate Moon Pool Chamber. So maybe I use too much pressure. <laughs> if that's the only defenses, though, this'll be a cinch. We're safe to proceed now. Follow me. Yeah! Pesky wizard found us after all. Master is right again. I must go and tell him. Restrain them until I return.
Seems we haven't managed to elude security as well as I hoped. Nothing for it now but to keep moving. Come on! We're right behind you. Wizard, you can bring up the rear this time. Sweet Cyclops! Will you look at this place? It looks like Rasputin's using the Borealis crystals to make golems. But why? I thought Rasputin was just searching for the Sky Anchor gemstone. Something about this isn't adding up. I'll say. I'm out of my depth here. I'm not a science officer. I'll use this snow globe to head back and send Specialist Frost. Meantime, we should gather some crystal cores from the golems to study. I'll stay by the snow globe. You and Ivan can get the cores. Nice work, wizard. Now there should be some way we can reanimate these and get a closer look at one of these golems. Step aside, young lady. I'm the science specialist here. It's better if I examine these cores. Hmm. I don't see how this functions. That's because it's magic, not science, fishbrain. How about you step aside? I have an idea. Hmm. I thought maybe the crystals were powering the golem, but instead, it looks like the crystals allow it to be controlled remotely. Congratulations, little witch. It seems you've figured it out. But this work is crude. I have far more impressive creations to show you. If you'll enter my vault, I'll show you one of my favorites. A tribute to Ivan, in fact. Come see Ivan, or are you scared? Ivan the Great is scared of nothing. Come, wizard, let us enter this vault. If Rat has set trap, let us spring it. Meet Ivan the Greater! He's a tribute to you, Ivan. Without you, I could have never finished my work in the Frigid Maw. I am confident that he will prove true to his name. But we shall see, shan't we?
is greater. Ha <laughs> ha! Ivan is, that's who. No longer am I Ivan the Great. I am now Ivan the Greatest. Oh no! How did this happen? I failed him. I failed my creator, my father. Now, he'll never speak to me again. You should consider yourself lucky. He is evil man. You must tell us, though. Where has your father hidden Sky Anchor? The Sky Anchor? I don't know what that is. If it is valuable, though, it is in the deep vault. That's where he keeps all his favorite things. More watch lions! Maybe Sky Anchor is here. We defeat lions, then I break down door. Second thought, this door? Ivan might not be able to break down. In fact, Ivan probably cannot even budge the wheel. Did I hear correctly? You need help opening the vault door. I will open it for you. Perhaps this will get my father to speak to me again. There, it is open. Ivan the Greater, what have you done? You have been a naughty child. Very well. You have no use to me now anyways. Wait, father. Let me explain. Please. No. Oh no. My big brother. Rasputin is evil man. Poor Ivan. I take it back. He is Ivan the Greatest. We must avenge him. First, let us see what his sacrifice earned us. Let us see what is Rasputin's most prized possession. I am Jacques Cousteau, defender of the... You enter the secret vault, expecting to find something of great value. But what you observe is not but a humble explorer. I am Jacques Cousteau, defender of the environment, and now, ironically, I fear, an unconscious agent in the spiral's destruction. Years ago, I sought to find the source of the Northern Lights, and I discovered the Sky Anchor, a towering mountain of pure Borealis. I kept it secret, but Rasputin pried the Sky Anchor's location from my mind. Now, he will destroy the Anchor and the spiral along with it. If Sky Anchor is mountain, then what was big gemstone Ivan loaded onto ship? We should go back and tell Malori about this. This could be problem. Go on, then. It is better I not burden your pace. If the vault is safe, I will follow you out to safety. So, the Sky Anchor isn't what we thought, and Rasputin is close to destroying the Spiral? That stinks. At least you rescued Jacques Cousteau. Remember how we were told Rasputin couldn't break the Sky Anchor because he doesn't have the help of a Titan? Turns out he does. According to the schematics, the Golems are just a prototype for what he's building in that chamber over there. It's called the Titan Forge. Hold on, Ivan must have misunderstood. Did you say Rasputin is building a Titan? Yep, and I bet that's why he needed the large gemstone you loaded onto the ship in the Frigid Maw. 
I observed that Rasputin was building something, but I knew not what. The good news is that I believe his project is still unfinished. Then we must try to stop him. Let us venture into this Titan Forge wizard and see for ourselves. You guys go on. Cousteau and I would only slow you down. We'll come behind after you've cleared the way. Good luck. Pesky mongrels, why don't you just give up? You may have defeated one of my larger golems, but let's see how you handle two. of these golems, just like with Ivan. Let us avenge them. Let us avenge them all! So, we meet face to face again, do we? As much as I enjoy our little rendezvous, I'm afraid this will be the final time. Ivan, you forgot whose side you're on. Sit this one out. I'd stay at much too, but I'm in a rush. Igor will see to your demise. Oh yes, that reminds me. As a parting gift, Igor, take my grimoire. I don't need it, and it may prove useful. Yes, master. Thank you, master. As you ordered, I have studied the wizard's tactics. I have prepared. Yes, I will make you proud. Then I shall bid you all adieu. Fleeting as they've been, I have enjoyed our games. And most of all, watching you lose.
<laughs> I've delayed you long enough. Master makes his departure even now. No! He has made mockery of Ivan yet again! We will not let him escape. No, it cannot be! Ivan was so close. There, in fog! Titan is getting away even now! Oh, SEAL team is here. Maybe now they will actually be useful. Did I just see what I think I saw? Did a titan-sized golem burst through the side of the ice block and carry Rasputin off across the water? I'm guessing this isn't good. I thought about giving chase, but the seal boat just couldn't keep up with that thing. Then Rasputin will make good on his promise. He will destroy Spiral, and there's nothing we can do. Uh, maybe we return to Walrusburg. If Ivan must watch Spiral die, he would at least like to do it over a bowl of stroganoff. You're gonna have to go hungry a little longer, Ivan. We found Cousteau's boat, the Calypso, around the corner. He says we can catch Rasputin. You should go. My team and I will stay here to ensure this facility is destroyed. Good luck to you, wizard. I hope you stop him. A careful study of the Calypso suggests Rasputin's been making use of it while I was locked up. Fortunately, she remains unharmed. He must not have realized how fast the ship really is. He would have been wise to scuttle her. Now we can catch him at the sky anchor. There's only one problem. The ship has no crew. I will require your help below decks if we are to embark upon this journey. Board the ship and go down into the hatch. I'll call out orders from above. The success or failure of this voyage will depend on you. The thing that makes the Calypso so fast is that she runs smart on steam, pressure, and a little bit of magic. First thing you need to do is shovel some reusable alternative energy units into the energy bed. That's it. Very good. Now, open the energy transfer flue. C'est bon. Yes, I can hear the water heating up in the boiler. Now, you must rotate the steam drum. Building up too much pressure. Quick, release the safety valve before the engine blows up. Very good. We're chugging along nicely now. The sea is below us. Wind rushing by. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh no! What in the 70 seas was that? It seems we are being boarded. Wizard! Get up here and help us defend the deck. The 
This boat will never reach the Borealis Peaks! We'll sink it and you'll be swimming with the fishes! No, fishman! Ivan and Wizard like it just fine here on deck. It is you who will go overboard, back into sea where you belong. Won't be swimming with the fishes after all. <coughs> Fine. You stay above the water. We stay below. Better that way, anyhow. Bye bye, fishman. Next time you stay in water, nothing will stop Ivan and Wizard from catching that ratty Ratsputin. Impressive. Your skills in magic are a fascinating phenomenon. If you lived under the sea, I would study you. Ah, but now our voyage nears its end. The Borealis Peaks are in sight. You must simply go below decks and apply the brakes to the wheel box. Don Wizard, we are slowing down just in time to reach the shore of the Borealis Peaks. Come back up onto the deck. 